Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and I'm going to show you how to get the top rack out of a Whirlpool refrigerator, uh, the freezer portion like mine down here. This is actually uh, the start of another video because I'm going to be replacing the ice maker. But in order to give myself some more room, I'm going to take this particular rack out. And it's really not that much work to take out the top basket as well as remove this bottom piece as well. I just go through the extra steps, take off the bottom as well as the top. On mine, I've got this ice tray, so I'm going to remove that. And then there are pieces in the front of your rack as well as the back of your rack that you need to loosen in order to let this rack out. So first on either side is the screw that holds this bracket. When you loosen that screw, that allows this plastic bracket to go up, allowing you to pull this out further. There's another one of these on this other side, so I'm going to unscrew that. I'm also using a electric driver, and I'm just using the standard bit holder in it. That also is very helpful for getting the screws out. There's going to be your screw. So with my screw out, I can now lift this piece up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's pull the top rack out. I'm using one screwdriver to depress these tabs. And then the other screwdriver I have in at an angle that allows me to pop up this bracket. Now I'm going to pull the rack forward. I have to get it over this thing, so I'm going to lift this up and still keep moving it forward. You see how that comes loose? Lifting this side up, pushing that forward. I've also got these up so that nothing's being restricted. And then I can just tilt this up and we're gonna remove it. Takes just a couple more seconds to remove the stuff here for this bottom rack. There are four screws on the back of your door that opens and closes, two on this side, two on the other side. And you're gonna just loosen these up. You don't even have to take these all the way out. That allows you to pull up on this door. Again, I'm just using my bit holder. If you were gonna use a wrench, you could use a flathead screwdriver. This is a quarter inch size, so that's what you need. I just went ahead and loosened those. I'm gonna loosen the other side. By the way, if you haven't tried these chicken melts from Costco or oh, these taquitos from uh, Costco, you get some queso. So amazing, not sponsored by the way. So with those screws loosened, I can pull up on the door and just kind of pull it forward a little bit, shimmy it out of those holes, and I'm gonna set this to the side. This drawer, these pockets here, just pull up and you can remove them. So I'm gonna put stuff back. I'm just gonna take these drawers and set them down in this pocket. Being careful to note that these little ridges that stick out are on the inside corners when I'm putting the tray back in. So I'll bring my front door back and I'm gonna insert it uh, so the screws kinda go over the uh, locking hooks. And then let's tighten those screws. When you're ready to put it back in, again, you just line up the bottom uh, rails of the uh, rack with these plastic pieces. Go ahead and pull up on them and insert one corner, insert your other corner, and then go ahead and before you push it all the way in, push these rear uh, brackets back down so that they snap into place and then you'll need to reinsert those front screws. I'm gonna go ahead and replace my ice tray and then I can push this back closed. If this video has helped you out, take a second and smash that like button as I greatly appreciate it. And if you spotted a little robot popping up during this video, his name's Tinker and I hide him in every one of the videos on this channel. Be the first person down in the comments to let me know the timestamp, that's the amount of time into this video that he pops up. And if you're the first person, I'll put your name on our Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out in one of my future videos. My name's Jeff, and I'm doing another video after this on how to replace the ice maker. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked at the end of this video or down in the description. Be sure to make every day awesome. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next video.